Hey everyone, Jay Pitts here, broker owner at Remax Premier Properties. I'm with Emily Hughes for another episode of Resource, Real Talk About Real Estate. And today we're gonna to talk about why budget conscious sellers should consider hiring a full service broker versus a limited service agent. So Emily, why don't you, you know, explain for our viewers just what exactly a discount or limited service broker might be? Yeah. Um, so just for our viewers to know, a discount broker is somebody who's going to offer discounted services. Um, so normally they just kind of put your house on the MLS and kind of just let it sit there and not really do much else yeah. with that. Sure. And it's, and it's in exchange for a reduced commission, right? Right. Yes. So basically like, hey, I'll do less, but you know, I, you're going to pay me less, but I'll do less in exchange. Right. And honestly, that can sometimes hurt you because you're, even though you're trying to save money, it might end up costing you a little bit more money at, at the end of the day. No, absolutely. And I was going to ask, like, you know, why would someone make the decision to go with somebody like that? Well, um, honestly, there's really only one thing that I can think of, and that would be just trying to save a buck. Just trying to save money, yeah. trying to save money. So, um, you know, I, I assume it's a product of a hot market. People, right. you know, have the perception that houses are kind of selling themselves, yes. so they don't need great representation. So right. put a sign in the yard, put it on the MLS yeah. and it'll sell. Yeah. Um, but as you touched on just a second ago, that might actually cost our, our viewers money in the Definitely. long run yeah. by not having the, you know, the services of a full service broker. Right. So why, why don't you explain, we've heard a little bit about what uh, a discount broker doesn't do. Right. What, it, it, on the converse, what a full service agent does to get more money and what might be the end result for our clients? Right. So with a full service broker, you're obviously going to get way more for your money than what you would with a discounted broker. Um, they're going to do strategic marketing for you. They're going to have a set plan. Um, you're, they're going to make sure your house is showing well. They're going to find buyers for your house. And ultimately, they'll more than likely get your home sold quicker and for um, a better price. Yeah, no, and I agree with that. I think that's a, that's a very important point that a lot of consumers don't consider. They hear 6%. Right. They hear 5%, 5.5%, 6%, 7%, yeah. whatever the commission may be, and they think, well, my house is worth two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000, and that's a substantial sum of money. And all right. they can think about is how to minimize that expense. Yeah. But if you sell the home for less than what the difference you're paying in commission, you're netting less money. Right. So we've had a lot of experience. Emily, I know you have in the past with, with your clients that are sellers, but we've actually you know had someone pay a full fee, mm -hmm. but sell their home for substantially higher and end yeah. up netting more in the process. Yeah. And you know what? With a lot of those discount brokers, we didn't even say, they leave a lot of the work to be done, almost like a for sale by owner, by the homeowner right. themselves. Yeah, that's so true. less frustration, less time, better service, more money. Yeah. Kind of hard to beat that, right? Right. Ultimately, can't go wrong with a full service broker. You're just going to get more, more for your money and probably make more money. You know, it's a great point, Emily, and I really appreciate you making the time to educate our consumers and viewers here at Resource. Again, we'll be back real soon for another episode of Resource Real Talk About Real Estate.